Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel, and this is Scott. So one of the things you will notice as a system admin or an admin of a home lab is that over time, there are changes to both the operating system and the utilities or programs that you run. So I've entitled today's presentation, Incas Errors with Some Snaps. So recently, I ran into a problem with a procedure that I used in my tutorial, Self-Hosted Camera Magic, where I used the VLC program as a snap from the command line to transcode a 4K camera stream and display it on a Chromecast 4K device. So apparently security protocols within LexD and Incas containers that run snaps have changed to protect access to the host operating system. And in general, services in Linux are managed with the program system CTL, as I've discussed before, and they're run as detached daemon or server processes. And so we're going to learn how to run a service when an Incas container boots in order to enable running VLC and potentially other programs that may be restricted that you'll discover here. So this is a general tutorial on how to run a script as a service at boot time on a Linux computer. So I guess about two days ago or so, I was trying to run my uh, camera routine that I had, which by the way is initiated through a voice command, and I discovered it wasn't working. And so I came down to my Incas container running VLC, and I hunted around for a while, and eventually I just went ahead and typed in the VLC command, and I got this error that says that uh, snap confine has elevated permissions and is not confined but should be. Refusing to continue to avoid permission escalation attacks. Please make sure the snapd.armor service is enabled and started. So of course the next thing that I did was I did a system or pseudo system CTL uh, status on snap d dot app armor and it said that the service is loaded and uh, internally managed by snap d and it's active so no particular problems there if i do a snap list from inside the incas container you can see that I have VLC here loaded and other than that just the basic elements to make snap work but still when I type VLC I get this confinement permissions error so then I simply reloaded the snap profiles with a pseudo app armor underbar parser dash R which means reload slash var slash lib snap d slash app armor profiles with a wild card and it goes ahead and does that and then i can execute vlc and it comes up running the errors that you see as far as no such file or directory and the pulse audio uh, server not running are because this particular Incas instance is not a desktop and so it doesn't have the traditional desktop services which I really didn't need. So I go ahead and do a queue to get out of VLC but the point is now VLC is running correctly due to the fact that I reloaded those profiles. So let's go ahead and reboot this system with the sudo reboot now which will reboot the Incas container. And when we SSH back into the Incas container, we'll see that we're running Ubuntu 22.04 and that we're up to date pretty much. 
So go ahead and clear the screen and do a VLC and we have the error back again. At this point, we could of course go back and do the sudo app armor parser command to reload the profiles, type in my sudo password, and once again, VLC works correctly. But we won't want to do this on each and every reboot of this Incus container. In general, there are easier ways to run commands when you log in, and one of them is to go out and edit the .boshrc script. But in this case, we're having to run a privilege command, and we'd really like it to run for every user on the system as well. So I went ahead and I created a script. I could have created this really anywhere, but I just went ahead and created it in my home directory called boot.sh. And it simply contains two lines. It's very important when we're going to do a script the way we're going to do it to include the first line with the hashtag exclamation point and then slash bin slash bosh, which says that we want to use the bosh interpreter and the uh, hashtag uh, exclamation point is referred to as a shebang. So basically shebang forward slash bin forward slash bosh and then we're executing our command to reload the app armor profiles. Once we've created those, we can do a control O and enter to write our file out, which is called boot.sh. And we can do a control X to exit the nano editor. Even though we've created a script, it's not executable until you change the uh, permissions on it to be executable. So here we have a chmod plus x, meaning add the execute privilege onto the file boot.sh. Services in Windows are controlled by the services control panel, but here in Linux we create files over in a folder called systemd slash system and I'm creating a file called myvlc.service. So I'm going to do a sudo nano on forward slash etsy, forward slash systemd, forward slash system, forward slash myvlc.service. And in this file, I have a unit section where I have a description or a name for my service, myvlc, and then I have the directive after equals network.target. That tells it when to run this particular daemon or service. And then exec start forward slash home forward slash scott forward slash boot dot sh, which is where our script is located. And then we have a directive under the install section called wanted by equals default dot target. Once you have all of that, you can do a control O and hit enter to write the file out and a control X to exit the nano editor. Whenever we put new files into the service directory, it's a best practice to execute the command sudo systemctl daemon dash reload. To enable our service to run automatically when the Incas container or uh, Linux operating system boots, we do a sudo systemctl enable myvlc.service and then it will tell you that it has created a symbolic link for that service. In order to start that service right now, I can execute the command sudo systemctl start on myvlc.service and we can examine the status of that service by using the status directive systemctl status myvlc.service and here you can see that it has run. You might be concerned that it says that the service is inactive or dead but keep in mind all we had to do was to run a script and then exit so the service does not continue to run. But let's check and see whether our service solves our problem 
by issuing the VLC command from the command line. And sure enough, we're not getting the confinement error. VLC is coming up and it is running correctly. And we are now in the command line interface. I can do a Q to quit out of that. Now the acid test will be if we can reboot and our service starts and we're able to run VLC. So let's do a sudo reboot now and then come back after the system reboots. Now the Incas container should be rebooted and I'll go ahead and SSH into it and I will do the VLC command and sure enough, it comes up and is running. And this tells us that our system service is working correctly. So in summary, this snap confinement error running programs with elevated privilege seems to be new. And apparently VLC and possibly other snaps may experience this error inside of Incas containers. And I corrected this issue by reloading the app armor profiles when the Incas container boots. So this use case was really just an excuse to show how to create services that run scripts at boot time in Linux. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.